Assalamu alaikum, hello dear students. Today, uh, in this uh, lesson, which represents the second part of the writing process, I'm going to continue with the writing process and, of course, always with uh, and according to the process approach, I'm going to continue following right our steps and stages to achieve our task of writing our essay. Good. Now we'll uh, see the second stage, which is called drafting. Now, after the pre-writing stage, which uh, results in the construction of our outline, now we move on to the second stage, which is drafting or writing the rough draft of the essay. Now, what do I mean by drafting? Drafting, it means you attempt, huh? you try to write your first write, uh, draft of the essay, depending on the outline you have prepared in your previous stage. Right, so first, it is an attempt of writing. Huh? It's a try of writing. Clear? Number two, here also, in this second stage, you engage in writing. You stop dealing with ideas, huh? thinking, gathering, collecting, huh? and you engage in writing directly, depending, of course, on the outline of uh, your essay you have if you can say constructed, right, and uh, wrote in your pre-writing stage. Now, that's why the first recommendation in this uh, drafting stage is that you must follow your outline as closely as possible. Clear? You must follow your outline as closely as possible. Why? Because the two stages are interrelated, right, pre-writing and drafting, and are joined uh, by means of that outline. So the outline is the bridge which links uh, the stage of uh, preparing your ideas and the uh, plan with the stage of writing, of writing. So we need to respect, to follow this outline to make the two stages harmonious, okay? And not uh, contradictory, right? Good. So, number one, we said, follow your outline as closely as possible, right? Uh, number two, of course, here also, when you have outline, you, as we said before, you should engage in writing. Start writing. Huh? Uh, don't hesitate. Right. Uh, try to uh, use your own style, your own uh, vocabulary, your own linguistic fortune huh? to give that outline huh? body and shape in the form of an essay structure. An essay structure here in this attempt of writing, of course, you are trying, you are attempting, huh? you are not required to be perfect and it's not going to be maybe your last uh, attempt of writing. That's why here, number three, uh, remark, don't worry about uh, mistakes on grammar, punctuation, uh, spelling and the other mechanics, clear, because the aim of this stage is to make you flesh out your outline to make you, if you can say, provide the outline with uh, the appropriate vocabulary, sentences, okay, uh, and uh, paragraphs that represent and reflect the content of your outline. Clear? So, here you don't need to pay attention too much to uh, grammar, punctuation, spelling. Just try to uh, write uh, try to, uh, you can say, uh, form your paragraphs, uh, uh, introduction, body paragraphs, and conclusion, uh, uh, depending on those notes you have in your outline. In your outline. Right. It's not the step where you think about grammar. You will waste time here. Our major aim is to write, is to construct an essay is to, to have uh, our first, uh, if you can say, draft and rough draft of the essay, right? 
So, of course, there will be mistakes. There will be uh, things, okay, forgotten, but uh, we need to write and to write on until we uh, finish our uh, first rough draft of the essay. Clear? Good. Also, we uh, know that writing is a continuous process of discovery. It means whenever you write, uh, you discover new things, new ideas may come to your mind, clear, as you are writing. That's why we said, don't pay too much attention to those silly mistakes of grammar and so on. Focus mainly on how to, if you can say, uh, word your ideas and give them the form of uh, related sentences and paragraphs, clear, of course, coherent ones, clear. Good. So here, as you are writing, it means you are going through a process of discovery. For example, sometimes you may think of new ideas uh, that are not included in your uh, outline, uh, new ones come, that come to your mind, or in your uh, brainstorming list. So here, you are allowed, while you are drafting, to insert and to use right, new ideas to modify a little bit uh, uh, some right uh, details right and some ideas you add some you delete some ideas uh, of course without disturbing the whole structure it means you should keep uh, the major uh, notions and elements of the outline but for some minor ideas uh, maybe uh, to change the order of uh, two or three main ideas in the body right there's no problem here right but don't touch uh, the basic structure of your outline. This will make you lose a lot of time, clear. However, if you have some slight modifications at the level of the ideas, right, here it's not harmful, by contrast, it's going to be useful because every time we write, uh, discover new things, and we uh, find that we need to add or delete uh, certain ideas, right? So. Just be sure that the ideas are going to include, right, in your uh, attempt or uh, right in, in your draft, uh, they are relevant, relevant to uh, the essay, uh, topic and subject. Clear and subject. Right. Good. And of course, you must always uh, keep following your outline. It means even if you find a lot of ideas, uh, more ideas. You find them interesting, may enrich your discussion of the topic, but from time to time you must remind yourself you have to respect and to stick to your plan and outline. Because if you open the door for the coming ideas, huh, you will get astray, you will okay, get lost with all uh, what's new, right, and all that may tempt you huh, to include in your, uh, in your essay, right, in your draft. So, uh, you can modify, you can say, but do not exaggerate, right, do not exaggerate and keep always your outline as your model, right, you are going to uh, base your draft on, right, good. Uh, some also theorists recommend that as you are drafting, you may start with the body paragraphs, clear, and postpone writing the introduction and the Conclusion till the end of uh, writing the body paragraphs of the essay. Right, so here also it's not something harmful, why not? It can be a good idea for you. Huh? Uh, it depends on your, I don't know, uh, preference, on your also time. Huh? Because as you know, uh, as you have this statement in your outline, it means you're going to focus mainly and mainly on the body uh, main ideas and the main paragraphs of the body right it means the elements of the introduction and conclusion are already uh, uh, guaranteed and are already uh, you can say uh, available right available so you are free whether to start introduction body conclusion or also to go directly and write first uh, and devote uh, the uh, most effort you have and concentration first, right, 
uh, to write first the body paragraphs. Clear. It's a good idea. Why not? It can be helpful to you. Right. Uh, just also, you need to know that your attempt of writing may not be only one attempt. It means you may draft once, or twice, or even many times. Right. So here, as you see here, the, the process of editing IDs is continuous. Right. So, the step sorry, of editing IDs is continuous. We began with it in the pre-writing uh, stage after brainstorming, but here also in drafting, you are allowed sometimes also to edit some IDs, add, modify, delete, and so on. Clear. Until even the end of writing the whole essay, you are uh, free to always edit, modify your IDs. Clear. So, editing IDs is really important huh? step uh, that is present right in many many stages not only in the first stage or second stage clear right good and like this we have uh, finished covering uh, the principles uh, which govern uh, how to draft uh, uh, and how to write your rough draft of your essay of your essay right now I'm going to have an example which is uh, a kind of rough draft uh, based on the uh, previous uh, outline about uh, nuclear power. Nuclear power. Here I have my outline. I'm going now to uh, write my draft huh? on the basis of this outline. Huh? I will respect in the introduction and include the uh, this statement and the body paragraphs. I will also include the main IDs right uh, in my body paragraphs and the number of them should equal the number of paragraphs in the body and finally I will also state uh, and summarize as I uh, wrote this in my plan. Go. So, my draft starts with it. there are many sources of energy in the world. Uh, countries are racing to, uh, racing to acquire them, especially the nuclear power. This latter has become very interesting to the world in different fields. However, nuclear power is not that good source of energy for its uh, different advantages. So here, as you see in the red spots, sometimes I may uh, not use punctuation correctly, I may not capitalize correctly, because it's only a draft. I need to finish writing clear and fresh out my outline, right, to construct my parts of the essay instead of wasting my time in it, thinking about this mistake, that mistake, and so on. This is not done here, but it is done in the third stage, which is revising. Now, I'm, re I'm required just to write. I must write. Clear, depending on the outline. Buddy, the first reason that makes it not good is its high cost. Building nuclear power stations is very expensive, and requires big budgets. Huh? The developing countries can't afford. My first body paragraph, based on the idea that it is huh? very huh? Uh, expensive. Second, this energy is unsafe, therefore, its reactors are built far from population areas. Also, it's being used in weapons. Right, that means in uh, weapon industry, in wars. This, thus, it is dangerous to both health and peace. Right, second, also body paragraph. Third one also is based on the main idea in the outline, right, which is third nuclear power or nuclear industry is full of accidents. Huh? Uh, the complication system of the reactor to generate power is vulnerable to many mistakes that may lead to disasters for both the human and nature. Uh, the Chernobyl uh, reactor accident in uh, the Soviet Union in 19, maybe it happened, I think, in 1986 or uh, 76, I'm not sure. Right, doesn't matter for me, it's our drafted. Was a renewable, uh, so remarkable example. Was a remarkable example. Right. Finally, now I reach my conclusion. And I directly write to state and summarize main points of the body. And I say, 
and if nuclear energy is a kind of power, but it is not exempt from risk. In addition, its high cost huh? and safety and host of accidents make its dangers outnumber its benefits. Mankind should be or should look for alternative powers which are cleaner, safer, and more friendly to nature. So, as you see here, this is my first draft. Uh, I may, uh, for example, modify sometimes uh, the order of my main ideas. Uh, I advance one, I uh, retard or postpone uh, second major ideas with the first, and the first with the second. Clear. I may also add some examples. Uh, I may add some new ideas, all right, but I must always keep my structure as it is. Huh? Huh? Why? Because if I disturb or uh, break, you can say, the major parts of my outline, of my plan, this will make me uh, uh, lose and waste much time. Right. So, in drafting, I repeat, just start writing, follow your outline and don't pay too much attention to those uh, little mistakes of grammar and mechanics of the language. All right. Once your draft is completed, uh, it means after the first time or second time or third time, of course, depending on your time of the exam or test, uh, or your level and so on, when it, your draft is ready made, is completed, now you can move on to the second stage, which is revising or polishing and this stage will be the subject of our next video and lesson god willing see you then thank you so much